One, let's get to those fires. Wildfires broke out in several Bay Area cities, causing road closures and some evacuations. Yeah, and you can see uh, on the screen back there what we're talking about. Fire crews across the Bay Area working to put out the fires that you see there on the giant wall. We got the Canyon Fire, that's the one burning in Pleasanton, mm -hmm. the Tim Fire in Vacaville, the Scenic Fire in Port Costa and Crockett, and then a fire burning also in Benicia. So we're going to start off in Alameda County where Crown Force Will Tran has the latest on the Canyon and Tesla fires. Good morning, Will. I'm in front of the fire department, and you can clearly see most of the fire trucks are gone. It is empty because they're still on the front lines. We should get an update in about two hours from now. But the good news is, as far as the Pleasanton fire, James and Doria, that you mentioned, well, people in Pleasanton, between Pleasanton and Fremont, there's the Sonol area. Well, those people are back home this morning, even though they had to evacuate yesterday. And we're talking about 450 people. As far as the Livermore fire, that's the bigger of the two. Let me show you video of that. That has so far burned 300 acres, and that fire actually started about three hours after the Pleasanton fire, and that forced the fire crews to scramble all over the place. I do know that in Pleasanton, they actually called for mutual aid that the Fremont Fire Department and the Oakland Fire Department, they all rushed out to help out their fellow firefighters as well. In the Livermore area, for Unfortunately, is in the unincorporated area off of Tesla Road, which is why it's called the Tesla Fire. They have stopped the advancement of the fire. They jumped all over it, but they have firefighters at the scene at this very moment to try to contain it, and it doesn't spread. And again, we should get an update at around 7 o'clock this morning when CAL FIRE usually goes up in the air and sees what's going on. As far as the Pleasanton Fire, well, that forced so many people to scramble, guys, because there was a particular stretch where there was only one way in, one way out, and that's why they told people early on at around, say, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, because the fire started at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they told those people long before the fire reached them, get out, because if the fire gets, gets near you, you are trapped, and that's why they were evacuated, and then fortunately at around 8 o'clock last night, those people, they saw what happened, that they stopped the forward advancement of the Pleasanton fire, and they told those people, you can return to your home, and they are back home this morning. But look at this sign, guys. I want to show you what, what's going on in front of this fire department. No fire trucks except one, and actually he was ready to go as well. So you can clearly see they're not here. They're on the front lines working just a precursor of what's to be a very long fire season. Back to you. Oh, yeah, already shaping up to be. Thank yeah. you, Will. So, meanwhile, the scenic 